Hey Aquarius, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is going to be your uh, general bonus reading. Any information you guys need, you can find it within the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. I have uh, email readings as well as recorded video readings. So all that information is going to be down there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here for you Aquarius. The dog's hair was on that. <laughs> what's going on with Aquarius? Okay. All right. Some of you could be a Libra or Taurus moon or rising. Okay, maybe even sun, sun possibly. So um, we have the Knight of Swords as the heart of the matter here for you, Aquarius. So I feel you guys in a little bit of a combative, argumentative space here um, in the current energy, all right? So uh, the Knight of Swords can be somebody who flies off the handle, who doesn't really think before they speak or act. So that could be the space that you're in. This could be somebody uh, in your energy. Now, what's crossing you is the full card, all right? So, okay, I feel a little bit of a selfish energy here. The fool can be like very careless, all right? So normally it's not a bad card, but it's showing up in the challenge position right over the Knight of Swords. So again, this, you know, this could be somebody that you're connected with. It's energy, put it where it goes, but it could still be you, all right? So that's what I'm seeing here is just a really selfish energy, very careless uh, in regards to what they do and say. They just act on impulse is basically how I feel here. Uh, we have the temperance card is what you're working towards. So you are working towards finding peace or finding balance. If this is you, you're working towards finding balance is how that feels. Let's look at the temperance card. What's going on with that, please? For Aquarius. I did see the little fortune. I'll go ahead and take that. I didn't want to take all those that flipped over, though. We have the king of wands as well. So Leo energy. King of Wands, you have the king and the queen, first of all. So the queen's showing up in your environment. The king's showing up is what you are working towards, okay? So I feel like you are very out of balance when it comes to when to act and when to not act, all right? So something that you're working towards here, the king of wands can sometimes be somebody who... Um, you know, he, he leads by example. He's very admirable. Uh, he is a natural born leader. So I think that could be something that you guys are working towards here with that Wheel of Fortune. Um, so yeah, Wheel of Fortune, it represents like growth, cycles ending, new ones beginning. Um, it represents things moving. It represents lessons, um, recycled energy. So yeah, I feel like you're trying to put your energy into something that is going to uh, give back to you. And that's what the Temperance card is as well. It's a card of balance. So we have the uh, Justice card showing up as well lies below you all right so hmm that's interesting let's look what's going on with the justice card please for aquarius and their subconscious all right we're getting the six of cups Ooh. so you've got two sixes showing up here as well sixes are you know a vibration of compassion generosity it's a very caring giving energy and this is showing up in your subconscious this is something that is hidden okay so it's possible that if you're acting out of this selfish energy you have been in a very giving space for a long time okay so that could possibly be something where you're finally giving back to yourself it's possible that you're trying to get back to your old self who wasn't who was not like this okay because there's something uncomfortable about it but i do feel like you know in some situations it is warranted that six of cups that's you know like i said a very giving kind energy you know so i feel like that's a that's the space that you were in for a while maybe it's possible that you weren't really seeing a return on that uh you were just being drained of your energy and the justice card is actually saying you know since this is showing up in your subconscious is something you don't see but things are actually in balance at this point in time it's just not something that you really um are used to right we have that eight of cups in your past energy so let's look at that what's going on with this eight of cups it's saturn and pisces what's going on with this eight of cups here for aquarius in their past energy the last thing aquarius with the eight of cups we're getting the four of swords reverse yeah this puts you yeah i mean this is a card of gratitude it's a card of peace somebody who's resting Okay, who has clarity, who has answers, who has truth, who has what they need, basically. And then it's showing out in the reverse position to clarify this eight of cups. So I feel like it's possible that you guys were in a space where, you know, when you needed people, their backs were turned. Okay, so there was obviously something missing here. Something wasn't adding up. If you look at that cup, that's not present there in that card. So, yeah, I feel like this was something that definitely put you out of balance. Okay, uh, definitely left you uh, on edge and just feeling uneasy in general. We have the uh, lover's card. It's possible that you guys could have been dealing with somebody who... Um, 
it's a, it's a just a really in and out kind of energy with that eight of cups and the four of swords in reverse because when somebody's in and out when they're in you're constantly anxious you know wondering when it is that they're going to be out again so it's something like that here for some of you uh aquarius now we have the lovers showing up in your near future so if that's if that's the case i definitely see you guys getting into a different connection here possibly with a gemini or a sagittarius could be a libra as well What's going on with the lovers in the near future for Aquarius? Okay, we're getting the Queen of Swords, and we have the King as the final outcome. Okay, so yeah, I definitely see you guys coming into balance here, or coming into alignment with an individual is what I should say. The Lovers represents a turning point, okay? So I do feel like you guys are almost, you could be feeling really uncomfortable because you're almost hitting that point of no return when it comes to your old self who put up with this crap, okay? Whatever this energy was back here. Um, you know, you're almost, you've almost completely let go of that version of yourself. So Queen of Swords is somebody who has put a lot behind her. So that could be why you're being tested and maybe feeling like, wow, maybe I do need to give back to people or maybe I need to apologize. Maybe I need to try to be more understanding, you know? And maybe you do need to try to be more understanding, but for your own sake, not for theirs. Um, so the Queen of Swords, like I said, somebody who's put a lot behind her, the Lover's card, um, a turning point, possibly a decision for some of you guys to leave something behind, all right? To leave your old self behind even for some. We have the Seven of Pentacles showing up as your feelings. So yeah, I mean, I feel like you're really analyzing certain investments that you've made, you know? Um, and we have the Queen of uh, Wands showing up in your environment. So Aries energy here. Let's actually look at that. What's going on with that Queen of Wands for Aquarius in their environment? This queen of wands for Aquarius. Okay. Reading the hair font. So Taurus energy. You know, the queen of wands can be a card of commitment. And the hair font is also a card of commitment. It's a card of marriage, structure. Uh, it can be institutions. It can be a lot of things, a spiritual teacher. But I do feel like there is a lesson that you are learning here. Uh, it's coming into your environment, coming into your awareness is what I should say. So uh, definitely enlightenment being reached about something. But with that queen of wands there, I also feel as if, you know, that's feminine energy, right? So I feel like you guys are learning because, okay, let me backtrack here a little bit. I'm sorry. So we have that king of wands. That's a masculine energy. So like I said, I feel like you could be in this space where you're feeling like you need to take action towards someone um, or towards multiple people to make things right or to balance things out. But I feel like you are coming into a space where you just kind of move back into that feminine energy and you wait on your blessings to reach you because this this isn't necessary okay things are balanced the way they are feeling like they're not balanced is an illusion okay um and you know i feel like that's being sent in here to kind of throw you off all right i feel like there is some kind of telepathy going on here with whoever was benefiting from this energy you have the six of swords showing up as your hopes and fears so let's look at that mercury and aquarius We'll take both of those since they're flying out. The Judgment card and Awakening and the Five of Swords. I think that you are afraid of moving backwards and that's what's going to ultimately keep pushing you forward, okay? You are you want to give back to a situation, but you are afraid of moving back into that space where it's not giving back to you. So it's not necessarily that you don't want this. You just don't want it the way that it is, okay? You don't want it the way that it was is what I should say because you move from the Six of Swords to the Five of Swords. So yeah, you're afraid of this halting your progress and you're definitely right, okay? You do have that Judgment card here. So yeah, I feel like you're awakening, you're ascending, in many ways you know when that five of swords shows up um it is a card of development all right you see that figure looking back there at his past versions of himself and you know he's happy with the way that things turned out okay he understands how those situations served him so that's what i mean when i say maybe you could gain more understanding but it's for your sake it's for your own clarity not for theirs it's for your own peace so you never have to be in this four of swords reverse kind of energy again when it comes to this you do have the king of swords as your final outcome all right so let's look at that what's going on with that king of swords we got the five of cups mars and scorpio so let's look at two more on that please okay hmm. yeah there's definitely going to be some conflict here when it comes to releasing that all right um or when it comes to you just kind of sitting in this energy where you're not really doing anything i feel like you're definitely going to see the true colors of someone here and it's going to allow you to cut them off this could even be a group of people entirely okay you've got that five of cups here so yeah those three cups spilled over. I feel like this could be a friend circle or just um, a social a social circle in general. This could even be a job for some of you guys that you're leaving behind here. You have that page of wands. So some kind of message um, is being uh, given here. All right. You got that five of wands here as well. Conflict, competition, strife. I want to pull a couple more on this. All right. What else is going on here? This king of swords is the final outcome.
truthfully, you know, this could be you hold it, trying to hold on to your old self or pieces of your old self, like people and situations that you've outgrown. But uh, I really do feel like this is someone trying to hold on to you and keep you at their vibration. So what else is going on with this King of Swords? Yep, there it is. All right, so you, you, you can pick one, you know. You can pick one. You can pick this Five of Cups, Page of Wands, Five of Wands energy, or this Sun card, Ten of Pentacles, Emperor energy. This is somebody who's very much in their power, who is head over heart, which, you know, sometimes we need to be the opposite. You know, it just depends on the situation. In this one, I feel like you've let your heart lead too many times with an individual, and they know that, okay? Their ego has gotten the best of them. The Sun card is a very good card. Um, but you know, sometimes astrologically speaking, when we talk about the sun, we can talk about the self and the ego. So I feel like that's some, that's, um, what this person has been acting out of when it comes to you and they've been playing on your emotions. So when it comes to this individual in this situation, yes, it's best to take the head over heart approach and lead with your logic, understand how things have always been. That's how they're always going to be. Okay. Uh, and is that something you want to commit to? I don't think that it is. I think you'd rather have this 10 of pentacles, uh, on your own here rather than building it and giving it to others. You have that king of swords. That is somebody who, you know, really faces the truth and expresses the truth. All the other court cards, they look to the side or they look down. The King of Swords is the only card that will face you straight, okay? So I feel like there's something here about confronting and acknowledging truth, all right, and also expressing truth. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel like you have a choice here, you know, in regards to staying in certain situations or holding on to certain people and, you know, moving forward, all right? So I feel like that is a big theme here for you guys this uh here in this energy so that's what i'm seeing if you want something more tailored to your energy i have personals open you can also watch out for your other signs but that's what i'm seeing for you right now i hope this was helpful i want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me and you all enjoy your week bye